is an accompanying adventure, obviously. Uh, this is the standard format. Uh, this time it is Wheel of Judgment, which I quite like because this, this is the adventure you, you bring out after the TPK you accidentally did. Okay, so you all died. So what happens next is, which I, I think is just like, what? amazing. <laughs> and that's not giving anything away. That's right on the back of the cover. Yeah, yeah. I, now, how, how does it come out for you when you went through it? When I went through it, uh, it is – obviously, you can't say much for RPG modules. You don't want to give it away. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was hilarious. It's a very on-the-rails adventure. If you are pissed off about running on rails, you will be pissed off about that. But for this kind of adventure, it, it's solid. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Things about how hilarious it is. There's a new adversity in there called Missing Head. <laughs> That sounds amazing. You know, just in case you happen, happen to be missing that part of you while adventuring, what happens? I, I, yeah, it's hilarious. I, it's clearly the kind of adventure where that is a thing that could happen. Yes, it is. You can die so many times in this campaign and just laugh every time it happens. Yeah, this is not next one. This one would probably you know, be a really good one to run with sufficient amounts of alcohol. It comes with a beautiful two-sided map of Phoenix Lands and Celestial Realms which we described, the Celestial Realms. Very frameable. Comes with all the tokens we've come to expect with people from different clans and different kind of beings for you to use with your realmic adventuring. So all the standard RPG stuff. It's a good one. The only problem I have with these maps is, is somehow you need to frame both sides because they both sides are normally just absolutely gorgeous. As is also the trend... There is a downloadable supplement for Wheel of Judgment and, and thus also Celestial Realms. So there are two schools, the Mazoku Enforcer tradition, which is an interesting one. So a Ronin could be doing this or some kind of secret organization that hunts evil, like the, the Falcon clan, for example. A Shadow Hunter or a priest of Emao. So that sounds like a interesting, fun set of things to do. And the Champions of Days Gone tradition, which is a bit controversial, which is a very strong archery school. So this is for people from the long ago where the samurai were mounted archers more than they were frontline infantry. So they are very good with bows, and some people were saying that they were, there. There is some discussion about whether they thought it was a good thing. But if you're dealing with like returned spirits who have that school because they were from the early days of, say, the the days of the Shining Prince, then that's the skill that they would have. So I think that's a an interesting idea that they've got there. Might steal their ability for the wasp. Yeah. It's a good wasp ability if you're going to do it. It's very strong. I think both of these schools can be repurposed from what they're used for and turn to other things if you want to make a school that do, does either of these things. In your Roku God, you might... I, I don't think there's any real problem with Masoko's enforcers to integrate into a campaign because it's anti shadowlands specific in terms of balance, I'd say like Centipede was stronger, so it's not a big deal. That Champion of Days Gone, you might want to just think about it before you incorporate it too much in, especially if you've got uh, a bow-oriented person of another school, because it it's, is super strong. Yeah. If, if you want to use it as a wasp technique, you could simply say that the wasp kept that tradition, and that's why they're so good at it. Uh, there's also a title, which is Spirit Hunter. So if you've got a school that doesn't have any rituals access, then um, this is a little bonus title they could get. Uh, the title ability reduces the target number of their attack and scheme actions, targeting otherworldly beings by one to a minimum of one. So that's a, just a little bonus for people who are going out and hunting otherworldly beings. Which is certainly a way that L5R can be run. It's a very common way. If you know, your troop of whoever you are is running around hunting stuff, then you can give everybody in your party that. But that's everything. <laughs>